How good is LeBron's son? Um, he's very good. Uh, he's going to be a I, – I don't know if he's going to go play in college. If he were to go play in college, he would probably get a high major offer. Whether he would be a star on that team, I don't know. Um, having seen him play, he is in – tremendous physical condition he is in better condition than his dad was at the same age because his dad never lifted a weight in his life till he was 16 this kid was having personal training i don't know when he was 10 so he's done incredible work on his physique he's very very conditioned but he is not the athlete lebron was lebron was six foot seven six foot eight 240 pounds when he was 17 when he came into the nba he was was one of the few 18 year olds ever who physically wasn't intimidated. The only player that intimidated LeBron as a rookie was Ron Artest. He was the only guy who could get into LeBron. That would not be the case for most 18 year olds. So Bronny is very skilled. I talked to, um, I think he's listed as a four-star prospect. So think about that. A four-star prospect. That's what Kentucky, North Carolina, UCLA go after. He would be able to play a school like that. How many four-star prospects make the NBA? I don't know what the percentage is, but it's not super duper high. Obviously, if he wants to be in the NBA, he'll get a chance in the NBA. That will be the, his last name will carry him as to that. But I think assuming that he's going to be ready at age 19, that's a big ass, Dan. Maybe he will be. I mean, that's two years from now. Maybe he will be. But when I saw him play, he was a freshman. And there were two guys on his team that year that are now in the NBA Zaire Williams who's with the Grizzlies and Brandon Boston is with the Clippers those guys when you saw them you were like whoa (laughs) I will see that gentleman in the NBA in two years I don't get that same vibe and my people I talk to don't get that same vibe about Bronny there are actually people and I've never seen his younger son Bryce play there are people who have told me that Bryce actually might be the better prospect amongst the two but his but Bryce, I think, is 13 or something like that. I don't, I don't know if we can go that far down the list. I remember watching when Lonzo Ball was playing and LiAngelo and LaMelo. And I'm watching, and I think he was a freshman at the time, LaMelo. And I said, that's the guy who I think is going to be the best player. But he didn't know how to play. Like, he was just all over the place. And they, they, you know, they, all they did is run and gun. Lonzo loved his passing. LiAngelo could shoot. I thought LaMelo had the, the entire game. I didn't know that he would be this good. But, you know, you start to see guys in the embryonic stages and then you, you know, that, that's what they're always trying to project. It's really hard to do. And I, that's why when somebody says, can Bronny play in the NBA? And I'm like, I don't know. I've watched him play and there are times when he's on the floor and I don't know he's on the floor. When LaMelo was on the floor, I knew that he was on the floor. He was involved in everything. Yes, and I mean, I... I don't think it's a matter. I mean, I don't think it's a matter of comparing him to LeBron because LeBron was the greatest high school player that people who watched high school basketball for 50 years had ever seen. Um, But I would argue that it's, I don't know if he's making the best decision about putting the pressure on Bronny. Maybe he is. I mean, maybe this is, he thinks he's going to react with pressure, but when you go out and say, I really can't wait to play with my son because You know, when LeBron was coming of age, Ken Griffey and Ken Griffey Jr. were were doing that. And Ken Griffey Jr. was a megastar in the world of sports when LeBron was 13, 14, 15 years old. The guy at um, at Nike, who was been like LeBron's father figure, Lynn Merritt, before he handled LeBron for Nike, he handled Ken Griffey Jr. LeBron's first game as a Cav in the Nike seats, Phil Knight, Lynn Merritt, Ken Griffey Jr., (laughs) <laughs> and World Wide West. But um, Ken Griffey Jr. came to his first game. So I think he had this affinity for that for decades now. It's, it's a lot to ask from the young man. And I will say this. I spent time at Sierra Canyon where he plays in the San Fernando Valley. Dan, I couldn't be more impressed with a, with a high school basketball program. And the thing that I love about it is that there's no – they're not pretending what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. They're trying to prepare professional athletes. He couldn't be at a better place. I'm sure it's one of the reasons why LeBron sent, you know, moved out to LA. He's getting every advantage possible. And one of the things is they don't let 
Bronny do interviews. Like when I went to see him play, he wasn't allowed to interview him. So I thought, oh, that's really good. And then I saw that there was a camera crew following him around, including all the way out to his car to get into his, this is a 14 or 15 year old freshman, all the way out to his car to get into his car. And the camera crew was from LeBron's company. So I was like, you know, I was like, I don't know, are we protecting him? Or are we not? And, you know, I don't have a star 17 year old son. What do I know? I'm not an NBA superstar. I don't know, but I, 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 I worry that his experience is not going to be maybe what it could be. 